So I'm pretty sure by now almost everybody has seen or heard about the brand new Jojo Part 6 Stone Ocean anime trailer that dropped a couple of days ago and boy even even right now bro like I still cannot believe we're finally here with Stone Ocean bro the anime trailer is so beautiful by the way if you guys have not seen my reaction to it please go watch it man like I <laughs> just you can tell, like, I was so happy when they said, like, yo, we got a brand new trailer for you during the event. Oh, my God, dude. I was just, what a time to be alive, am I right? Like, I swear, almost everywhere I go on the internet, I hear somebody talking about it. It's either a YouTube video or I hear, you know, theories and rumors or, like, I see fan art, bro. Like, just the community is just rallied behind this hype right now and... You just love to see it, honestly. So, of course, today I wanted to talk a lot more about the Stone Ocean anime. I did mention a lot in my reaction video, but I was more so just referencing the trailer a lot, just giving my thoughts on the trailer. I did say some stuff here and there, but today I really wanted to go more in depth about what we know about the Stone Ocean anime so far, because honestly, guys, there's still some stuff that, like, you know, uh, might be a problem to some people. So it's basically up in the air, man. There's a lot of information that we do not know about but there's a lot of theories out there right now. There's just a lot of speculation that I really wanted to cover. So the first piece of news that I wanted to talk about regarding the Stone Ocean anime involves something that we all know and well, some of us love and whatnot. You know, it's a name that's pretty well known and uh, that name is Netflix. Ooh. Now Netflix, God, where do I start, man? Um, Netflix, dude, like, you know, we all know streaming service and whatnot, bro, I have some good shows on there you know very very popular and whatnot um to anime fans though netflix can be a little hit or miss bro a little hit or miss with the anime dude um personally i don't really have a problem with netflix at all but probably the biggest news to come out of the stone ocean anime you know debacle and whatnot is actually that netflix is going to be you know licensing stone ocean on their site and whatnot which is kind of strange because I think this is the first time that I don't, well, actually, I don't know if Netflix has exclusive rights to Stone Ocean. The weird thing is, is that part five isn't on Netflix. I know they just put part four on it, but they don't even have part five. I mean, it might come out before part six comes out, but it just, it doesn't make sense to me real quick. But I just know that when everybody heard that Netflix is kind of, you know, backing up Stone Ocean, it, you know, is helping, you know, produce it and whatnot, um everyone kind of went crazy people does not do not like netflix touching their shows bro um you know what all what all that happened with a record of ragnarok and, and all that i know netflix doesn't animate shit and whatnot but whenever people associate netflix and anime people get a little you know they get a little worried here and there but honestly that's probably the biggest news that we have so stemming off of this netflix debacle actually comes like the real issue or the real problem I see basically everyone kind of arguing about taking sides and whatnot and it basically involves the way that Netflix rolls out their shows or anime in this context and you know if you don't go on Netflix and you're very unfamiliar with it basically the way that Netflix usually does things is that they basically just drop the whole show on the site like I'm not talking like an episode a week I'm talking like the whole goddamn show bro like you know they did it with you know if you're familiar with like Beastars or something like that they just drop like the whole show so basically what people are i guess a little upset about or a little confused about is how is netflix gonna roll out with jojo are they gonna just drop the whole 39 or 40 episodes however long stone ocean is or you know are they gonna do weekly or is, or is stone ocean gonna come out on other websites you know and stuff like that so that is the main issue that i see everyone talking about i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of in the mix of that because personally for me now, now for, before anything i totally understand the people that like binging stuff like they don't like like watching it weekly like i totally totally get it bro me i'm kind of like i'm able to do both honestly i'm able to do both i know a lot of people that you know like just binging it you know watching it at their own pace you know they're not really too keen with talking to other people when episodes air and whatnot they just watch and they're like cool right but I'm telling you this right now. I'm speaking from experience. This isn't even opinions. This is facts. Right? Nothing will ever beat the hype, the community, the absolute insanity of watching a weekly show 
and i know to some people they might be like why bro when part five was airing i'm telling you every friday dude was lit when aot was airing every sunday lit when jjk was airing every friday bro crazy dude like i'm telling you like this shit will go trending everybody would be talking about it everybody would be making videos on it it'd be hype we'd all watch the same thing in the same like time frame and whatnot bro nothing will ever beat that experience and that's why i personally side with the weekly watchers bro please leave in the comments down below if you know what i'm talking about man i already know like the binge watchers are like bro what the fuck is this dude talking about who wants to wait a whole week for a show i get it bro no one wants to wait like trust me whenever i see a goddamn cliffhanger or the ed play bro I, my heart breaks a little bit but i know that the wait is worth it and i know that there's thousands probably fucking millions of people waiting along with me and that community right there insane bro nothing will ever beat that that is why i am on the side that i really hope netflix decides to not roll out the whole series at once man i feel like it would kill the hype in a way you know like i'm not saying that jojo's gonna be forgotten but i definitely do feel that like you know you know one episode every week you know the length of time like that's across months man and like that hype will stay there for months but i feel like if it dr just drops i feel like the hype will die within like a week man like i feel like I feel like people will watch it and they'll be hyped and talk about it but i feel like that'll just be it and i really don't want that bro like I, I really want this part to last so i mean like i said i don't know if netflix is gonna be like the exclusive holders for stone ocean like if like i'm used to watching all my anime on crunchyroll like this is gonna be weird for me to react to anime on netflix but you know it is what it is if they do decide to do that but regardless netflix is a very you know very household name right now but it's a name that instills a little bit of either happiness or fear with people bro but really that's that's honestly about it guys like that whole ne the netflix is like at the core i guess of this stone ocean you know rumors and, and theories right now um you know no one really knows exactly what netflix is gonna do with stone ocean i know like I, I guess like netflix is supposed to get stone ocean early and then it starts regularly broadcasting like uh like a week after or something like that it's really weird people are using like like beating beating around the bush words and shit like that like no one truly knows exactly what netflix is gonna do so until we know like until we get like an official statement from them we're basically shooting in the dark right now but honestly um i really hope that netflix just isn't like the exclusive rights holder for stone ocean i really do hope it comes out on a different side and whatnot uh weekly of course but if it all just drops on netflix i mean low-key i low-key might just watch it weekly with you guys all here on the channel like i might just react to it every week or not weekly sorry daily i might react to it daily here on the channel but regardless dude stone ocean what more do I have to say? This shit is hype right now. The sixth part, bro, I'm, I still can't believe it. I still cannot believe it to this day that we made it to another part, dude. And I know that everyone's making jokes like, yo, part six? No one's even hyped for part six. We're just hyped that we're closer to four, that we're closer to part seven. I can fuck with that mindset, though. But hey, yo, Jolene is dope, man. Um, I'm really excited to see the story of Stone Ocean. Like I said, I don't know jack shit about it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited nonetheless, man. Uh, I guess we'll know in December, right? When it drops, guys. But uh, make sure to leave uh, in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought uh, uh, like about this whole situation right now. Are you a binge watcher or do you prefer weekly stuff? Do you guys get what I'm saying when I'm talking about the community things? Or do you, th do you guys just think I sound crazy? Make sure to subscribe. Uh, hit that bell, guys. Uh, also, make sure to click that like button before heading out. It really helps the boy out a lot. And of course, before we head out, I gotta give a huge shout out to some of my Patreon supporters out there. Jonathan, Ocean, Stanley, Gene, Joe Perez, The Improvement Lab, Psyche, Top King 101, Alex VLC, and you know, thank you guys so much, like always, for all the love and support. But anyways, everybody, if you wanna check out the Patreon, link down below in the description. But nonetheless, hope you guys have a great ass day. It's been your boy Ivory, and I'm out. Peace.